Photochemical machining has been called manufacturing's best kept secret. This series aims to change that. Hi, I'm Max Foster, and this is your Minute with Max. Episode 1. Why are we doing this? The hardest job we face here at Conard is educating designers and engineers about the capabilities of the photochemical machining process, referred to herein as the PCM process. Conceptually, PCM is alien to people who picture stamping and punch presses, or laser, water, and plasma cutters for creating metal parts. As is widely known, each process has its strengths and weaknesses, which will be explored here. What is less well known is that PCM can be a better solution than these other processes for your manufacturing needs. One of the first criteria to think about when considering PCM is tooling costs. PCM requires a very low tooling investment, typically less than $300, no matter how complex the part. And, depending on complexity, tools can be turned around in as little as 24 hours. Another criteria is the thickness of the metal sheet being worked on. PCM can be used for sheets from 80 thousandths thick all the way down to one thousandth of an inch thick. It's very likely that something you are familiar with has components created by the PCM process. Industries such as aerospace, medical, and power generation use these parts for a variety of mechanical and electrical applications. As this series continues, I will be exploring with you the world of PCM, its applications, capabilities, and the process itself. I welcome your questions about PCM and Conard Corporation, and we'll try to answer them as we go along. Hey, thanks for checking out this series. Hope you learned something. If you have any comments or questions, our social media stuff can be found over here. Until next time, I'm Max Foster, and this was your Minute with Max.